Hi there, welcome back to Gong Show Garage. In this video what we're going to do is we're going to show you that I had accidentally had made a mistake with running the wrong water through the unit. And I've now got it full of lye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the cell right now. And as you can see, it says it's full. That green light indicates that the batteries are full. But now running this for a little bit, we're actually pulling enough current through here because of the lie that we put in. The pulse width modulator is actually pulling more current out of the batteries. As you can see, it's bubbling more. And what I should have showed you in the first test is this is where the original level is. I can do that by turning this off. The level drops right back down to here. And then when I turn it back on, it'll go to that height. Now we're at this level. I'm going to go plug in the windshield washer motor. As you can see, this is how much it's going through the cell right now. I'll turn the switch off again so you can see how much it slows it down. Levels are slowing down, so is the cell. Click it back on. Now you watch it from up here. We get a line. That's how much pressure we're getting out of it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually plug in the windshield washer pump. So if you can somehow get a view of this and the bubble rotor at the same time, we'll see the difference it makes. <clears throat> in one of our other videos, we actually popped the gasket out of the cell doing this, so hopefully we do that again. <laughs> so now, as you can see, the cell is pressurized all the way to the top, and the bubbles are bigger. Now, if we come back over with this way, you can see that this motor is actually running off of a separate battery, so it is not the same to discharge that's coming off of the charger. And as you can see, the charger, the green light's gone out. I have the charger set at 12 amps right now to produce power into the battery. That's actually running the cell itself. The 75 amp goes back to full. Drops off again, so I'm definitely pulling more than 12 amps to the cell right now. I'm going to turn off the pump, so if you watch the pump now, and go back and get a good view of the cell and the pump at the same time. I'll disconnect it. You might see a bit of a purge, and then all of a sudden it'll level out again. So it's kind of hard to tell if we actually get more performance with the hydrogen. In our next video, we're going to probably do a way of measuring it with a bottle inside of a bucket and see if we can get a better reading on how much volume we're actually producing. This is just a video just to give you an idea of the differences that it makes trying with different ideas. This was actually Brad from Midas once again. It was one of his hairbrain ideas and I didn't think it would work because I thought it would restrict the flow too much. But I gotta say, he was right and I was wrong on this one. It's, it was a good idea. If you go to our blooper section, you might see that we actually blew the cell apart. And what had happened is I was running the lie and the pump for quite a while and the, this gasket in here as you can see, inside of here, all the gaskets are between the plates. I'll put some light on it so you can see. You can see where it's pretty well black up on the very top here. That's exactly where the gasket popped out between the plates. And it sprayed up the side of the wall. So we did have a cell failure doing this exact system. I thought I'd have to take the cell apart to dry it to make sure the contact surfaces are dry again, but it seems to be holding. So Anyway, this is our production. Right now we'll just that on there and I'll put the pump back on for a quick second. But let's just check out the voltage on here. As you can see the green light is out, so it's taking this out. Now I'm going to add that pump back on so I can get a view of both of those. 
One, two, three, four. And one of our next videos that we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a real stack onto the windshield washer pump that we're using. Let's see if we can dial in how much it goes through, because I think what we're doing is we're pumping too, too much through. I might have overfilled the bottle, but we are getting water in here. And as you know, with the flasher rasters, it kind of plugs them up a bit, so we might have to blow that out as well. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in to Gong Show Garage, and have a great day.